Hello Virgo, this is Nikki. Welcome to the channel if you're new. This is a suggestion from God's child. I don't know if you're a male or a female, so excuse me. Um, she said, channel message from passed away loved ones. So we're going to do a, a reading on this. I have a poll over on the community section. If you want to check that out and uh, participate in the poll and, and then ask whether or not, or let me know what kind of readings you want to hear on the channel. Okay. Channel message from passed away loved ones. Okay. Starting with the seven of swords. What other channel messages? We got the five of swords. I think this person is into in some, into some sort of regret on the other side. They weren't the best person, okay? Um, they didn't have the best track record with you and anybody else in the family. It's, this could be a male, okay? Page of, this could be a younger male. We have the queen of swords. And you're possibly close with this person, but... You know, not to the point to where they did the right thing. They always, they didn't always do the right thing. Okay. Let's see. This person probably stole from you. Probably did you wrong a lot. A lot of wrong in their life and definitely to you. Okay. I don't know if this person maybe died of an aneurysm or some sort of stroke or something or some sort of addiction or something. This person probably had also had a mental illness here. Okay. I don't think that this person knew they didn't know if they were coming or going, you know, because it was what was going on in their mind. OK, they had a lot of a lot of things going on with them and uh, it just didn't. They never got over whatever it was. It's like they weren't in control of the things that they did. OK, doesn't necessarily have to be a, a guy. It could be a woman to take how it resonates with you. OK. Channel messages from. Passed away loved ones, Virgo. They love you in spite of. They want you to know that they love you. And I think, I don't know if this person, you told this person just in spite of what, everything that they've done, they wanted to, wanted to know if you love them in spite of everything that they've done to you. And they've become one of your spirit guides, Virgo. They are one of your spirit guides. Oh. They, they didn't feel that they were being guided in the right way in their life. They felt alone, but they want you to know that they don't ever want you to feel alone. This could be your cousin as well. I'm hearing the name Lenny, okay? What is this message trying to say and who is it going to resonate with? Oh, blue. Favorite color was blue. Could be a nickname too. We have fall. Let's clarify the fall card here. Somebody fell recently and they saw you when you fell. Okay, you got truck. They possibly crashed a truck. Your cousin possibly crashed a truck or you had some sort of accident, a fall or something. Maybe you fell out, fell getting out of a truck or something. Okay. And we have a, a maybe you're a business owner here. Okay. Or they possibly could have been working on being a business owner. Or they stole something from a business as well and possibly stole something from you see we got this person committed crimes they were definitely committed crimes because you know i don't want to take up for this person but yeah i just don't think they could control what they were doing okay uh, I, 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 I really want to use the phrase kleptomania, but kind of loosely, you know. And we have here, life is a series of choices. They want you to choose love, okay? Because this person didn't feel loved, although I'm sure that people did love him or her, but they didn't feel it. But now they see it. Now they are no longer here. They want you to choose love. They don't want you to practice hate. They don't want you to dislike anybody. You know, they want you to follow the golden rule, something that they didn't do. Okay. They don't want you to feel sorry for them. I just think that it was something, something going on in the head. Okay. With this person. Okay. Oh, gosh. Now, I just got a message in my head. Um, did you see the movie Amityville Horror? Okay, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting this. Maybe somebody got a call at three o'clock in the morning. Because in the, in the Amityville Horror, that's like one of my favorite movies. But anyway, 
Margot Kidder was asleep, she kept she ha kept having nightmares. And one particular nightmare, she woke up about three o'clock or something, and all she said, she's crying. She was shot in the head. You know, I don't know why I'm saying that. Maybe this person shot somebody in the head, or maybe they shot him or her in the head, or maybe this person took their own life. Okay, somebody was shot in the head. All right. And we have the six of cups. This person is with your grandfather or uh, older older guy, maybe a father, but I'm picking up on grandfather vibes. Okay. And um, uh, a baby who passed away. I honestly think, I don't want to say it because I know it's so much controversy, but I see a grandfather and I also see possibly an aborted child that this person had. Okay. Take it how it resonates. You probably don't know that. Okay. And we have the king of swords. The hierophant. So they have a person who's more still mourning them. This could be a guy who's watching, or maybe you'll pass it on to a man who's watching. It could be a female though watching this reading, and they're still mourning this person, especially if they were married to them. Okay, they're still mourning. They took a lot of risks. Okay, they took a lot of risks in their life, Virgo, but they're wanting you to know that their death was painless. They didn't feel any pain because of their drug abuse. Okay. They didn't feel any pain. We have spring. Maybe they passed away in the springtime. They could their sign could have been a Leo. And here's the baby that's on the other side. Could it be a baby boy who passed away? This could also be a Sagittarius who is no longer with you. And, and an Aries. So we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Wow. All fire signs. Ain't that something? Or, you know, this person could have been either signed but has Leo or Aries or whatever in their chart. That's crazy that those three came out. Or we could be talking about three different people, but take it how it resonates with you, all right? I'm definitely hearing she was shot in the head. We got color, could have been maroon. Could have been school colors as well, like a, a bulldog or something like that, like a mascot. Could be your brother. And we have daughter, okay? And mom. Everybody wants to come out. So we have mom, daughter, and brother. Okay, well, this is just saying if you resonate with this reading, you lost your mother, your brother, and your sister. Okay, and they're just letting you know that they're around you at this time for you because we have a Gemini as well. Channel message for Virgo from someone who's passed away. They love them some coffee. Okay. They love their coffee. I'm hearing some black. I saw black earlier. Okay. So maybe this person loved their coffee black. They didn't like anything in it. And they visit you in your dreams. Okay. And your grandma is visiting you as well. Your grandma is sending you blessings. Oh, we got Taurus. I'm um, tumors as well, but she's sending you blessings here. Your grandmother or mother or somebody passed away from a, a heart attack, Virgo. Passed away from a heart attack. Okay. What other messages can I get for Virgo? Whew. Shot in the head. Um, something too with the heart. I said heart attack. So somebody passed away of a heart attack. Okay. Channel messages from Virgo from the other side. For Virgo from the other side. We will be together again. Okay. They want you to know that they'll see you on the other side. Hold on. Although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. This person is letting you know you don't understand it, but the puzzle are gonna the puzzle to their, their death is going to be put together. I saw um Crime solved, see? Crime solved. 
that's heart attack. We already talked about that. So you may not know this, but whatever happened with this person, all the pieces are going to be put together. Somebody knows the truth. If somebody took this person's life, Virgo, somebody knows the truth. The puzzle pieces will be put together. Okay. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, that's easier said than done not to worry about this, you know, but somebody knows the truth as to what happened. It's just some sort of shooting or the crime. It will be solved. I'm hearing it will be solved in your lifetime. Okay. The pieces will come together. Somebody knows the truth. Somebody close to this person knows the truth. Okay. Okay, hey, brother. They send you butterfly. Okay. They send you butterflies, Virgo. Maybe they have a gut butterfly on their arm or some sort of tattoo. And they want you to forgive them. Because they've done so much wrong. They did so much wrong in their life, you know, and they just want you to forgive them, to love them. Um, I'm hearing Rick James. Maybe they like Rick James. Super freak. Super freak. I'm super or whatever. Super freak. Okay. I'm hearing that. They love them some Rick James. We have their their studio. Yep. Yes, for you guys. Uh, maybe their birthday is in winter. They love them some football. Okay. They love them some football. Now don't laugh at me, but we got red here. I heard Cincinnati Reds. I don't know if that's a football thing. Well, football. Baseball, or is it a hot dog? I'm hearing Cincinnati Red. So take that how I resonate with you. I don't know. I'm just hearing, I don't know football and all that other kind of stuff. So Cincinnati Reds, I think that's a football team. Hell, I don't know. Okay. Okay, Virgo. Let's get some channel messages here. And somebody liked Aretha Franklin. That could be their name as well, Aretha or Franklin. Got a Capricorn, and maybe they drove a cab or Uber. We got Aquarius as well. So a lot of different signs are coming out. And Capricorn twice. I didn't know I had Capricorn. Maybe they have Capricorn twice in their chart in Aquarius as well. Sun. Somebody's son passed away. They're letting you know that they're with you. We got Brown. Could be a family name. And we have baby again, okay? Whatever it is you're thinking, that's a good. If you're thinking about having a baby, that's a good idea. Name it after them, okay? Your dad. Name the baby after your dad. Or you already did, okay? We have a Pisces hospital. There's somebody who passed away in the hospital. Or you, if, if you know a Pisces, maybe this Pisces person is in the hospital, okay? And we have here that that's that that's true. Whatever you're thinking about this person's death or something surrounding it is true. But like I said, it's going to be solved. Don't worry about it. Okay. No worries. All the pieces are going to be put together. Everything. Okay. I'm hearing in my head the glove will fit. Okay. Being sarcastic, but the glove will fit. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Okay. Because we all know the truth about that situation, right? Mm-hmm. We have a, this person ran went, ran away. You probably didn't see this person before they left, before they this before they passed away. The four of wands. I just didn't feel like this person really left the family because they wanted to live a life uh, to be happy elsewhere. Um, they didn't feel happy where they were. The Empress. They probably left a baby behind. But th this person liked to, to celebrate and have a good time and have a lot of sex, okay? They left somebody, they passed away, but they left somebody pregnant with their child. Okay, we got the Ace of Swords and we got the Six of Wands. This person loves to, the, love to be out in public. They love to be seen and heard. And they didn't know how to fix things. They know how to balance their life out the right way, okay? They lived a hard knock life. You know, it was like, I don't, I like to celebrate. I like to have a good time. I like to shake a tail feather. I like to dance, possibly even disco. If you lived during, you know, if you were old enough to remember the disco era, dance fever. I'm hearing that song, what? Freak out, freak out or something like that. 
I, they're telling you they're not dead. They're, they're around. You've probably see, been sending a lot of doves around you. Maybe you released doves when this person passed away at their home going service. And we have, I see all of your thoughts, okay? They know how wrong they did you, Virgo, but they want you to know that they are sorry. They've apologized here with this reading. And we have here, I wish I would have told you more often how much I love you. I really do wish. And they're telling you I'm standing right there next to you in spirit. I'm standing right there next to you. Believe, I believe in you. I believe that you can do whatever it is you set your mind to. I'm so sorry for what I did, for what I said, for what I didn't do, for what I almost got to do, for what I almost did, but didn't get a chance to finish. Okay. Let's get some final messages. Channel message from passed away loved ones for Virgo. They know that you're still holding on to them and that you really do miss them. Um, but your person, we're looking at the nine of swords and we're looking at the four of pentacles. Your person wants you to know that they're okay. okay. That, 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 that they, maybe they had a stutter or a speech impediment. Okay. They're letting you know that everything is okay on their end. They don't want you to worry about anything. You're holding on to something that they gave you, uh, a necklace. Maybe you're holding on to a coin or something that they gave you or something. And they know that you're holding on to a lot of heartache and pain since they are no longer with you. But they want you to know that they're doing okay. You know, stay strong about this, resilient, okay? And don't be paranoid thinking that your life is going to end as well, okay? I hope this message resonates with you. And this is a channel message from past on loved ones. Talk to you later.